Hey everyone, how are you doing? You have Mike here, and today I'm going to go over the quantum par meter that I have here from Apogee Instruments. So this is the MQ510. Um, I'm going to actually take it off of a mount here that I have, just so I can show you guys a little bit closer. Uh, so here is the actual handheld unit. This is the, once again, the MQ510. Um, Kevin had the SQ520, I believe. And uh, he came over and we've been using his for a while, but uh, I'm tired of going, hey Kevin, come over with the car meter. So we have our own car meter now. Um, it is really cool. It does have a clip that you can connect to a, a normal mount. So I have an old camera mount here and I just basically strap it to the sides of my tank. Now, the reason why you want a par meter. Well, I've kind of noticed a couple different things in my tank to begin with. So um, I'm going to have to get you a different view here. But the Alton Antero Rimeki Mini and, uh, is just doing amazing in this tank. But I notice in another spot of the tank, it's really not doing as well. So I have a feeling that I'm not getting the spread that I'm looking for. And that's probably just due to the coverage of plants. Um, the Hydrocoil Triparsa SP Japan um, has just exploded. We put it in the size of your fist and it basically covered the whole top and the Java fern down here is kind of growing really fast too and I think what that has done is kind of blocked the Altamantara Rineki uh, mini down at the bottom. So what I'm going to be able to do with this is uh, use my PAR meter in order to get a reading down there to see if I'm getting the same amount of light on this side as I am on this side and I have a feeling that I'm really not getting the same amount of light. So that's where a PAR meter is really going to come in handy. Um, another reason what I really want to use this for um, was to get a gauge of the lights when they're reading full PAR, like when they're going to give you the best PAR, so brand new light bulbs, and then see um, how it's going to change in the six month period when you're supposed to replace your bulbs. Am I still going to get that same light out of it that I am before? That's something that's personally curious to me, and uh, a PAR meter is really going to help us figure that out. Now. I've kind of figured out with the other tank that's, be that's behind me over here, my RAM tank, that um, I was having a little bit of an algae issue when I first started it up at the top and I kind of turned down the power of my lights. So I'm getting great results in this tank with the PAR readings that I'm getting from it and I'm trying to match that with this. Now I should be able to go a little bit higher light because I am using CO2 and it's kind of getting that whole balance. But just having a, a PAR unit like this is really kind of helping with that um, knowledge. It's giving me more of an understanding of, of what's actually going on in my tank. So it's a really cool um, tool to have. So I'm just going to connect this back on here. So since we did do our first initial PAR readings, um, I have raised this light uh, probably about three or four inches. And uh, I've definitely noticed a major drop in part from lifting up my lights. Now, obviously, the higher you go, the more it's going to spread, the less it's going to be into a specific spot. So I have noticed a couple different things. So it is quite a bit lower. Now, I'm going to pull it out, and uh, here is the actual sensor itself. Now, I do have this awesome wand that comes with it. Actually, I think you do have to purchase the wand separately. Now, there's some really cool differences between this unit, um, which is the MQ510, and Kevin's unit, which is the SQ520. Uh, okay, so Kevin's unit is, is definitely a little bit different um, as it doesn't have a, a reader, um, but it still has the ability to connect to your laptop and you can actually control um, your logging periods. So when you're field logging, as long as you have a power source, you can still use it. But still, it's an awesome unit. So one of the things here that I'm kind of curious about is like I said, with this Alton Antero Rynecki. I'm trying to get a reading. So what I'm going to do here is actually turn it on first. And I'm going to go right down to the substrate, um, right where the Alton Antero Rynecki Mini is actually growing amazing. It's actually about three, four inches tall in some spots. And uh, I'm getting a par reading of about 33 right down there at the substrate level, 30, 38, say about 37, 38. And um, so I notice that over here, which I should have actually tightened this a little tighter here, but uh, see what I can do here. 
All right, so. Now, if I come down and rate where the Elton Antarum Rhineki Mini is growing on the other side, I'm actually only getting a par reading of about 10 because it's really totally in the shade. Um, oh, I moved, sorry. I'm getting a par reading of anywhere between 6 to 10. And just out about an inch, I'm getting a reading of about 16. So that is quite a bit less light um, in that side. So that's kind of really basically showing me that I need to maybe possibly even move those Elton Antara Reineke out an inch or two, or try to chimp back some of this Java Fern. Um, and I think that's probably what I'm going to do is actually just move it out a little bit better so it really gets that growth because I really do like the red addition to the tank. It looks really nice. And um, it'll, the par meter will basically give me the perfect position to actually put the plants, which is very helpful um, when you're trying to get great results and you're a little bit unsure. So I think that if I move them out another inch away from the rock, which is a little bit further back, um, I think I'll be pretty set. So another thing that I really want to use this par meter for um, is with this tank over here, my shrimp tank. Now I do notice that I'm getting some great results with my plants. They, they are looking amazing in here, but I'm wondering if I can actually raise the lighting just a little bit. So I want to kind of just raise my lighting just a tiny bit and see if I'm still getting the great results or if I'm going to start getting algae. Um, believe it or not, I've only cleaned the glass of this tank twice. Um, and if you had a really close up shot, you can kind of see some uh, green swat algae, a tiny, tiny bits of it here on the glass. Um, and that's been there for a while because I haven't cleaned the glass. <laughs> um, but it's not enough to really make a difference in my tank. So since I don't really have an algae issue in here, I'm wondering if I could possibly raise my lighting a little bit and um, by using the par meter, that's going to give me the ability to do that and monitor how much I'm raising my light. Now, obviously, it's not giving me spectrum, um, but it is going to give me the basic par understanding. So hopefully here, um, in a little while, we're actually going to be ordering some more lights, uh, one specifically for my goldfish tank, because it hasn't been changed in about four years. Um, so what I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to replace it with the exact same bulb, and I want to see the decay of the bulb over four years compared to the new bulb, and we'll do that by par testing the light. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool to see because I'm really curious about that and I'm sure some of you guys are probably curious about that as well. Yeah, this is what we've been doing and like I said, I'm trying to fine tune these fish tanks and uh, try to get the best results that I possibly can and try to understand as much as I can about it. So I would like to thank you guys very much for watching. Um, we really appreciate everybody that has been watching. Uh, we have something really special coming up that I will let you know about in a, in a future video. I know that you guys are all going to be really excited about that. Um, so yeah, I would like to leave it there and uh, thank everyone for watching and I hope you guys all have yourself a great day.